हेलो भिवर्स होप यू ऑल आर फाइन सो दिस इज डॉक्टर सुधा मई बेहुरा एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर माय टू डेज वीडियो ओके एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट क्लाइमेट चेंज इट्स कॉजेस एंड इफेक्ट्स ओके सो दिस इज द फोर्थ लेक्चर ऑफ योर यूनिट टू ऑफ योर कंपलसरी पेपर ऑफ फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर बी एस सी बिकम बी ए स्टूडेंट्स एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड थ्री वीडियोस ओके सो टुडे इज आवर फोर्थ वन एंड यू कैन रेफर ऑल दिस इन द प्ले लिस्ट सो दैट द यू विल गेट सीरियल क्लासेस ओके इट इज मेड अकॉर्डिंग टू योर सिलेबस क्रोनोलॉजिकली ओके and uh, uh, if you will watch till the end of this video you will be able to answer a long type question of your climate change what do we mean by climate change then uh, what are its important causes then uh, uh, what is the basic difference between weather and climate then what effect it puts on our uh, um, ecosystem and other living and non living substances okay so um watch till the end so that you can um, get a good knowledge in this particular chapter okay so dear viewers what do we mean by climate so climate is the average daily weather for an extended period of time at a certain location okay you see in the picture in the left side Uh, it looks green and in the right side how the soil looks without uh, rain okay that means drought we can say here the condition of a drought situation is there due to lack of rain okay so all these things happen due to climate change so in the right side you can see some effects or some pictures of your uh, climate change um how suddenly it happens so you see here forest fire um, different types of industrial activities then flood then your uh, uh, hurricanes tsunami your drought volcanic eruption and on the top you can mark one polar bear has entered into the sea and uh, at that time the entire surface was covered with your um, uh, ice but suddenly all the ice melts due to global warming and or we can say climate change and now its life is on risk okay so in uh, we will discuss all these things so look here climate climate can be contrasted to weather which is the present condition of these same elements over period of up to 2 weeks that is the weather condition of one particular area in a given time okay so what the weather includes it includes the temperature humidity atmospheric pressure wind rainfall atmospheric particle count and numerous other meteorological elements in a given region over a long period of time so when these parameters uh, expressed within a short period of time that is known as weather and when uh, for a long period of time that is known as your um, your climate okay so climate change refers to the variation in the earth's global climate or in regional climates over time okay and there is one organization that is unfccc it defines climate change as a change of climate which is attributed directly okay which is attributed directly uh, or indirectly to human activity that alters the composition of the global atmosphere and which is in addition to natural climate variability observed over comparable time period unfcc that is full form is united nations framework convention on climate change hmm? according to which climate change is defined as this so Mm, you can do one thing you prepare your own note note from this 
slides those are in front of you in this video okay and it will help you a lot in your uh, um, examination time okay so you see weather reflects short term conditions of the atmosphere and it can change from minute to minute isn't it for example in a particular day suppose um, at 11 am it is sunny day okay means this scorching sun is over our head but suddenly you can mark after few minutes the sky becomes cloudy the sun um, becomes or the sun comes under the clouds okay and um, rain starts so this type of sudden change in the atmospheric condition is known as our weather okay and hour to hour day to day and season to season um, the weather parameter changes okay and the climate is the average of weather over time and space okay so the climate is nothing but the average of weather condition okay so um, unlike weather which means temperature rainfall humidity of a particular time at a local uh, area so climate has spatial and temporal components and it consists of many kinds of weather events and when we talk about climate change we actually understand more than the literal changes of weather okay over the time and space of that particular area particular climate then here we can see there are changes in ocean current melting of ice and loss of biodiversity are included in climate change and they are not discussed as conventional events of weather and by climate change we understand detrimental effects in every sector of environment and we will see its effect later on but first let us see the causes of climate change so what are the main causes so dear viewers you know that the causes are divided to two types one is your natural cause another is anthropogenic cause so anthropogenic cause means your the cause made by the human being okay and natural cause means the cause which is um, your happened in the nature okay so what are the natural causes that is uh, volcanoes the earth tilt then continental drift ocean currents intensity of solar radiation okay and what are the causes made by human being one is carbon dioxide means all greenhouse gases so what are the name of the greenhouse gases carbon dioxide methane nitrous oxide uh, chlorofluorocarbon cfcs those are released from our refrigerators okay uh, and uh, air conditioners then ozone uh, and ozone is present in which layer it is present in the stratosphere of the atmosphere and water vapors so these are six important um, greenhouse gases and another is your land use change that is deforestation urbanization all these are causes created by human being then look to this picture so here these are the different causes for which your climate is changing now it is drastically or in a um, very um, high um, time okay or uh, very quickly so here you see your uh, uh, causes are ozone in n2o that is coming from biomass burning fertilizers then from photochemical reaction your ozone is coming and decreased carbon dioxide solubility in water then warm oceans or your cfc refrigerant from refrigerant your cfc 12 is released that also uh, helps in changing the climate 
then your aerosol propellants that is cfc 11 chlorofluorocarbon 11 there are different types of chlorofluorocarbons okay and they <coughs> sorry they also change the climate then from deforestation carbon dioxide comes from fossil fuel combustion carbon dioxide comes and it changes the climate then from cattle or we can say ruminants methane is generating then from garbage swampy rice fields methane is generating <coughs> this methane um, change your climate then flooding of coastal region or decreased reflective surface it adds also change your uh, climate okay so these are some natural and anthropogenic causes which uh, change the climate so since the industrial revolution began in 1750 so when the industrial revolution began in our country in 1750 from that time human activities have contributed substantially to climate change by adding carbon dioxide and other heat trapping gases to the atmosphere okay and these greenhouses gas emissions have increased the greenhouse effect causing earth surface temperature to rise then earth temperature depends on the balance between energy entering and leaving the planet system because at every time energy is coming from the sun and also energy is released from the earth surface so when incoming energy from the sun is absorbed by the earth system earth warms and when the sun's energy is reflected back into space earth avoids warming because every Uh, warm energy it is reflect back that's why the it never put uh, the impact on the earth so when absorbed energy is released back into space earth cools and many factors both natural and human can cause changes in earth energy balance okay and they include variation in the sun's energy reaching earth then changes in the reflectivity of earth's atmosphere and surface then changes in the greenhouse effect which affects the amount of heat retained by earth's atmosphere okay these are the causes and these factors have caused earth climate to, to change many times then climate change prior to the industrial revolution in the 1700 can be explained by natural causes so that changes in the solar energy volcanic eruption natural changes in the greenhouse gas okay and then the human activities release large amount of carbon dioxide which is the primary greenhouse gas and in addition to those naturally occurring in the atmosphere increasing the greenhouse effect and global warming then scientists have known that carbon dioxide is one of the main greenhouse gases of importance to earth's energy balance and since carbon dioxide is already in the atmosphere naturally why are emissions from human activity is significant <coughs> then here are the picture of your um, greenhouse effect natural greenhouse effect and greenhouse effect intensified by human being so you know that greenhouse effect or um, on the global warming it is one good thing for the um, earth do you know because if greenhouse effect will not be there then then the earth temperature will remain in some minus degree centigrade temperature so do you think that in such uh, a reverse temperature animal can survive or plant can survive no so thanks to global warming that due to the this greenhouse effect your temp, uh, earth temperature is warmed up so that 
ವಿ ಆರ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಸರ್ವೈವ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಅರ್ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಬಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪ್ರೂ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಡೇಂಜರಸ್ ಓಕೆ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ದಿ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಅರೈಸಸ್ ಹೋಯನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಇಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ರಾಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹೋಯನ್ ದಿ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಡೈಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಮಿಥೇನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸಸ್ ಆಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ಕಾಜಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಲೈಮೇಟ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನ್ಹಾನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಮೆನಿ ಫೋಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ಸಡನ್ಲಿ ಗ್ರೋ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಎ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಚುಯಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಇಕೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಸೊ ವಾಯ್ ಕ್ಲೈಮೇಟ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಕನ್ಸರ್ನ್ ಆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸನ್ ಆರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಓರಿಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಲೈಮೇಟ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಸಿ ರೈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಗ್ಲೋಬಲ್ ಅಭರೇಜ್ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಒನ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಸೆಲ್ಸಿಯಸ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಟೂ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ continue in such a manner that the global surface temperature will increase up to 3.5 or 4 degree celsius in near future okay for which sea level will rise up to 7 to 23 inches by the year 2100 so when sea level will rise what will happen your coastal areas will be submerged isn't it so carbon dioxide expected to be 100% higher if a little bit higher will be uh, good or will not create problem but when this uh, will exceed 100% then it will create a great problem for our ecosystem isn't it then annual river run up and water availability will increase at high latitude and decrease in some dry uh, region at mid latitudes okay and in tropics then change in rainfall and the disappearance of glaciers due to the uh, increase in temperature okay and the ability of okay uh, then the ability uh, of ecosystems to naturally adapt to changes in climate is likely to be severely reduced so we are discussing about the problems arise due to climate change so that um, we are in a great concern then climate variables also affect food production so temperature soil temperature moisture rainfall light wind relative humidity hail frost it affect the your uh, production of okay different types of fruits then um, uh, high temperature at critical high temperature granules appear in the cytoplasmic viscosity and increases uh, and the cell membrane loses its permeability and coagulation of the entire cell contents takes place okay so the the cell uh, content um, coagulates then high summer temperature aggravates uh, incidence of various pest and diseases okay so when temperature will be high uh, several types of pests and your uh, uh, diseases that will appear on your uh, fruit crops then if temperature will be very low that will also affect your food fruit production okay so low tem- temperature uh, what it will create so in low temperature um, uh, it could appear that oxygen absorption proceeds as a much uh, more rapid rate than oxygen elimination which may result in the accumulation of toxic substances in the plant cell okay and um, flower bud initiation is inhibited in many plants by high and in the others by low growing season temperature 
okay so uh, your flower buds will also be affected when temperature will be low also then uh, effects on ecosystem so coral systems and other unique ecosystem cannot handle higher temperatures well and wild fires will increase also and up to 30% of species will be at increased risk for extinction due to the rapid change in their ecosystem and what will happen warming and sea level rise will continue and will probably occur more quickly than what we have already seen okay so um, sea level will rise so you have heard uh, one effect that is el nino el nino means the, the warming phase of the um, uh, your uh, um, uh, enso or el nino um, uh, southern oscillation that uh, happens inside the sea for which frequent of your uh, um, typhoons hurricanes your uh, um, cyclones that happens okay so Uh, the changes because of climate change uh, if we will sum up then uh, atmosphere and sea level pressure then wind fields sea ice drift melting ice coverings then changes in hydrology changes in ocean current water mass distribution carbon cycle altered okay so you have learned about carbon cycle in your previous unit so that carbon cycle will also be altered then biological systems will be affected arctic oscillation okay and um, so these are the mitigation measures how we can reduce this um, climate change okay so that we can also reduce the impact arise due to this climate change so some of the important mitigation measures are we should take some steps at individual level to reduce emissions of greenhouse gases then intensive increase in reforestation okay reforestation means we should go for plantation then restoration of degraded lands and increased use of compost increase biomass to produce energy land management strategies to increase soil carbon storage okay so all these are important mitigation measures of climate change okay so for today we have concluded this discussion and uh, i hope you really like this video if you uh, you like this and want to um, see more videos on your contents of your uh, um, acc1 environment study and disaster management then please uh, like subscribe and share uh, my youtube channel so that i will be motivated and i can bring more uh, videos based on your um, this compulsory paper that is acc1 environment study and disaster management um, for which you will appear the um, university examination uh, perhaps in the month of your february or march march or you are uh, till the end of may perhaps okay but there is no not decided yet so um, you will appear the um, examination of 80 marks so till uh, and then or uh, for today so bye bye take care and we will meet in the next video which uh, will be on another content of your uh, this ACC one environment study and disaster management unit two okay.